welcome back to my channel okay so for this video i really wanted to show you guys how i do the i guess you can say the layered um look um i try i did this with another wig this one is actually my wig but i tried it with the other wig that kind of went viral because i see hella like companies using that video i'll show you guys how it looks like i'll link it somewhere right here but um i just wanted to show you guys how i do that with my hair um as you guys can see i already went in and i already like you know styled it i already did the part i already hot comb everything now um because this is basically going to be focused more so on the um cutting part and less less so of the me actually styling it because i have other videos that show me actually doing this so i didn't feel like the need to actually show that part so what the first thing that i am going to do is i'm going to go ahead and wet it with some water and I'm going to be using this spray bottle. Now, um, this is the continuous spray bottle. And honestly, I would prefer this out of every any spray bottle. Because especially if you have to spray a lot of hair, this does make it a little bit more easier for you. So I would highly suggest getting this spray bottle. I think I have this in my Amazon favorites. And if I don't, I'll just have it linked in the description bar down below if you guys are interested. Now, all this has in it is some water. All it has is some water, but you can go ahead and put in some conditioner because sometimes I do just add conditioner to it, but I don't have any with me right now. So I'm just simply just using regular water. And first what I'm gonna do is make sure that I wet everything. And this brush, I kind of got this brush from the beauty supply store. Um, I'm not sure if they have it on Amazon. They most likely might have it on Amazon, but I really love this detangling brush. Um, especially because the bristles don't like pop out of the um, brush because it's basically connected to the brush. So I really love this detangler. So, um, after I did wet it, I did transfer it to the mannequin and I mainly did this mainly for more so for when I'm about to cut it and I want to know where the layers will end up. So, um, yeah, you can still do it on the block head, but I would just prefer doing it on the, on the mannequin cause it kind of, um, resembles a, a face and a head. So. Um, I would rather just do it on here, but like I said, you can, it's to each his own. So now again, I also wet it. I made sure everything is drenched and I mainly do this just cause it, it would be a little bit, it's a little bit easier for me to go in and actually cut the hair. Um, because if it was all big and puffy and stuff like that, it would be a little bit harder for me to go in and actually cut it and like layer the front and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I prefer to just wet everything. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to take two strands from each side because I want to figure out where I want the layers to start. I want to figure out where they want to start. So at first, I'm going to get the two layers. First, make sure your hair is, make sure it's properly on there. But I take two strands from each side. As you guys can see, it's a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I take two strands and now this part is very important because you don't want to go well depending on how how high you want your layers to start I me mean, I kind of want it to start more so like um a little bit by the by the nose or the mouth so um and also keep in mind when you are cutting like the layers in the front that remember the hair is wet so since it's wet since it is wet, you don't want to go too high. And when it dries up, we all know that it crunches back up. So you keep in mind on that because I learned that the hard way. But um, i rather just start more so um, longer. And if I do want to cut it shorter, then I can. Because if you cut it too short, you can't add back hair. So I'm basically going to start next to the mouth. And as you guys can see, I'm going to take the scissors. You can go ahead in with shears, but honestly, I kind of, I'm good at looking. So I'm, I'm going to use the shears. And as you guys can see, I'm going to be getting it, holding it from this direction downwards. And I'm going to start by the mouth. And I'm basically going to be tapering. 
I'm gonna taper the strands so it doesn't look too straight. And this is how much I cut off. And as you guys can see, it, it stopped, it started with the mouth, but as you guys can see, since I am like tapering it down, you can still um, see that it goes past the mouth, but the original cut is exactly where the mouth started. Now, um, this part, it should be a little bit more easier after, you, after you've gotten your first layer now is going to be a little bit easier you are going to basically do this exact same thing but now you're just going to do it on one side of the hair um, i want to bring you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better i don't know if you guys can see but i'm going to take it start off where i um where i stopped cutting last and i'm basically just going to start tapering the hair I'm tapering it, going downwards. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you look from this angle, as you guys can see, the hair is a little bit more layered and it's not too choppy looking because you don't want your layers to look too choppy so be mindful make sure that you're either going up and down with it or just or just cut it straight downwards if that makes sense and i'm going to continue all the way to the tip of it because keep in mind i am going to also go in and actually cut the ends of this hair also so now i'm going to do the exact same to the um to the opposite side now if you're not good at cutting i would highly suggest you go in with a razor for one just to cut off a little bit less because with the scissor if you're not careful you can literally just chop off more than you want to so if you're not comfortable with using the scissor i would highly suggest you go in with um razor comb so now what i am gonna do i'm gonna push you guys back is now i'm actually gonna go in and actually cut the ends because um i want it to look more so like a blunt a really blunt look so I'm gonna start where the I know it's really hard for you guys to see but I'm gonna start where that layers stop and I'm just gonna continue cutting and this might cut off a good amount because but for the look that I'm going for I don't mind cutting off that amount and I'm not even gonna stretch it out or anything I'm literally just gonna go by by look now if you want to be a little bit more exact you can go in with um some with with a measuring tape and just measure it so you can be a little bit more precise but since this is like more so like a blunt look i don't really want it to be too precise and also it's curly hair so you it you can get away with it if things are not too even so i'm gonna do the same to this side So now you can go in with the diffuser um, for this just so the curls can be a little bit more crunched up. Now I think that I'm going to do that just so I can get that exact look while it's still a little, a little bit wet. So I'm going to go ahead and get my little um, diffuser with my blow dryer. As you guys can see it still looks a little bit, this side looks a little bit longer. So I'm going to go in and actually cut them so it could be a little bit more even. Now I'm not gonna just cut it straight across. I'm gonna just do that exact same motion. I'm 
Okay, you guys, so this is the wig about nine, I would say about 98% dry because I do feel some sections that still is, it's not dry, but it's a, just a little bit damp. So it's about 98% um, dry. And as you guys can see, um, I really love the way that the end stop because that's really how I like it. Um, when you guys cut it blunt like this, it really does, um, it make the hair just look a little bit more fuller and you just cutting in that little sections you guys can see how it made it have more so like a rounded um look to it but i am gonna go in a little bit and just cut off a little bit strangly ends that that is poking just so everything can look even and even when it comes to here you can still go back in since it is a little bit dry so you can see a little bit more as to where stuff ends so if you would like to make it a little bit shorter you can that's why i say that it's good to just do it longer and if you would like to cut it then you can always go back and cut it um and not just cut it too short in the beginning but this is how she looks like this is called the sierra the the short sierra unit on my website um this wig will be available on black friday i believe i'll have about like two two of these units available so um make sure you guys mark your calendar um you can um join my text list which will be in the description bar down below if you guys just would like a more um would like to get updated to know when the black friday sale start um the vip members well my text list whoever is subscribed to it will have a full maybe an hour or two um of the website being live first so they could get first dip so if you are interested so make sure you join that text list but this is how she looks like let me know if this video was helpful in any type of way and if you guys like this unit please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you loves in my next video bye Behind those green eyes.